Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stone and thank you for joining me for some more Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So in the last episode we took some weird potion stuff from the seer and I think we're pretty high as a kite and we're probably having an out of body experience but I don't know but let's go and try and see what's happening. So anything around here? No. Where are you? Seer woman. Where have you gone? This is where it's not an out of body experience and all she's done is nick everything off Harvey. our body. Oh no. Harvey? Harvey. Who the hell's Harvey? 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 I walk among the dead. Bet you wish you did, mate. Where the hell? Oh, what? There's a what? Who the hell's that? Sigurd. Sigurd. Brother, when did you arrive? What? What the hell? Where did. Where did he go? Don't leave. <laughs> Is that that dude with the cloak again? That's meant to be Odin. It looks like it, doesn't it? it probably is him. I think it's what is this? Odin, but I don't know what it means. What is this vision? What the hell? What the? What are they doing? Jesus Christ. They have some proper weird customs. I have no idea. Looks like I have to go across this. Do I have to swim? No, it's too shallow to swim. <laughs> I have no idea what this means. <laughs> At all. None whatsoever. It would all probably be explained in due course. But for the moment, I have no idea. Oh, this is um, very confusing. <laughs> ah! uh. Brother, what is this? There was no other way, Harvey. Our fates are fixed. Did he chop his hand off? Sigurd! What the hell? Maybe I'm not having an out-of-body experience. Maybe this is all really happening and they're just kind of dodgy and psychotic Sigurd! fuckers. What has... what has happened? This was not for you, Harvey. What the hell? Okay. <laughs> what the hell was that? An oversized wolf, a brother with his hand chopped off. That is what I call bad tripping. That's proper, proper tripping. Steady, Eivor. It is Valka. I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. Odin and the Nornir were there. The wolf beckoned Odin's hall open to me. Well, yeah, Odin and... I don't know what the Nornir is, so um, I'll just say open... Odin's hall was open to us, which we did. Some doors opened and he was he went through it, so let's say I that. I saw the gates to Odin's hall of slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. The wolf beckoned? And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed, fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition. Of course, he was bit or on the neck fear. by a wolf once at the start on the lake. Odin and the Nornir were there. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. Also, the Nornir watching must be the three women that were kind of spinning mm, the threads. Not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you and where it ends. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint. 
Hazy. Did you reach the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. Then the wolf reappeared, the size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. The gods favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That can I will not be right. betray him. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Oh, you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Maybe we betray him because Assassin's Creed is a war between the Assassins and the Templars, in brackets, because it's not the Templars now, but like Stergo. Maybe he's an agent of Stergo. That might be what would happen. Oh, two skill points. Cool. Let's see what I can do with it. But before we do, let's go to the Codex and see what we found. The so Valka. Valka has always lived apart from society, but the daughter of a seal or Volva was never welcomed or greeted with the same sense of hope and dread that her mother evoked. At least not until she inherited that title and the generations of lore that it went with. She cannot yet see as far as her mother once did, but she knows enough to understand her thread is intimately intertwined with Ivals. Okay. Is there any buildings? There must be a building section. I did enjoy in the other Assassin's Creed the like historical buildings, but I, I, know, I doubt there will be. Maybe locations, yeah, but buildings. I don't know if there's enough ar like archaeological remnants of buildings of that time to be able to formulate anything precise about it. Um, what if I went through this way here? What if I went for the stealth damage? Way of the Raven. Gives a bonus to all Raven-aligned gear. Ooh. Do I want that? I might. You know what? Let's do it. Get some stealth damage. Otherwise, we'll kind of mix things up. You never know when we're going to kind of need a bit of everything. Let's see, what is that power again? Power 7. What does that do? Oh, I can reset all skills? That is cool. So it can actually reset depending on what we want. So that's pretty neat. Um, now that is done. Returning to your settlement can be done using the settlement fast travel menus. Let's try that out. I don't normally like doing fast traveling, but... Wait a sec, we've got some... There's some locations here. You know what? I think I might actually go and try to synchronize with that and do these two things here while we're here. Um, I would like to get it all cleared. As again, I am a bit of a completionist, as I stated before. Too too much OCD. That's where I am. But where is the... Um, it's over here. Oh, maybe I'll, to, I'll just follow the road. Great. I think it's easier to follow. And it's all the way over there. It doesn't look far on the map, but the distance is pretty damn big. I don't know what the size of the map is, though. I don't know if it's, like, bigger than Odyssey or as big as Odyssey. Honestly, I have absolutely no idea. What the hell? Dude, what? Did I try and get attacked by that thing? Are you kidding me? Right, you bastard. Come here, bring it on. I oh, know, he ran off now. What the hell? Did I hit you? I did. Oh, I killed him. Boom! I'm sure he tried to attack me. I could feel something run behind me, and I'm sure he moved his antlers. Hopefully he's going to give us some leather. I know we needed a bit of leather to improve our... What? An animal that size and we get two leather and an antler? Are you kidding me? Well, that was lame. I was hoping for at least, like, three times that. Maybe four. Um, yeah, I'm not going to bother killing the crows. Yeah, I want to climb that, want to climb that point. And then we'll do the two... I think the world locations, what were they? Oh, the mysteries. Okay, so mysteries can be world events. Can it be anything else other than world events? That's one of my questions. So how do I get over there? Because my guess is there's going to be a big hole in between us and that. Yeah, I don't want to track a new quest just yet. Or maybe if I... I know, yeah, we can take this here. Cool. Okay, we can take the um, zip line the sleepwalker took. Let's do it. Shazam! Oh, that is cool. Woo! 
Oh! And now, we move. But I'm very interested to see how all this intertwines with the all whole Assassin's Creed thing, like Abstergo and, like, Assassins. It's going to be very, very intriguing. Can I see anything? No, but a lot of iron. Yeah, might as well, um, might as well take all this. I don't know how rare it is. It doesn't seem to be very rare in this area. There seems to be quite a lot of it. Oh. And it is useful. So there's no reason we shouldn't. Right, do I go this way? Yes, we do. So I guess we can't climb on ice. That would make sense. <laughs> I don't think he can do it. He's not Spider-Man. He is a Viking. Who are a lot more frightening than Spider-Man, probably. Take this. Where's the next place that I can actually climb? Can I climb on ice? Yeah, no, I can't climb on ice. It's good. At least I have to try and figure out a way... Oh, okay. There we go. That was sneaky. I don't think there's anywhere I can jump. I mean, there's no mysterious basket of... Oh, is that leaves? Is that leaves or is that rock? I think that's rock. Yeah, it's rock. I am not jumping off the... I'm not doing the eagle jump there. There's nothing to eagle jump into, apart from a massive void of death, which amounts to broken bones at the bottom of this freaking peak. music is epic. Is there anything? So, suggested power one. Okay, I think it's... Oh, I think the power level is your current, like, strength, maybe. And I think it probably recommends areas depending on your power. That might be it. Right, let's quickly climb down this thing. The climbing down is a little bit clunky as well. I have to admit, it is not... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Wow. I survived that? Holy cow. Yeah, so as I was saying, the climbing down is a little bit clunky. Really, it's not the most smooth. Right, now why am I crouching? Okay, now let's go to the... Let's track this. I want to go to the mystery over here. Oh, look, there's a road. Cool, we can follow the road. Right, let's sprint. I could probably call the horse, actually. Can I? Yeah, I can call the horse. Why don't I call my mount? Of course, it's a lot quicker to just call the mount. Ah, oh, cool. The horse looked wicked, by the way. You done a good job on the mount. So, how do I... Okay, we can gallop like that. But No, I don't want to go that way. Oh, God. Where the hell am I going? What am I doing? Which way am I going? Why am I riding down the mountain on a horse? Yeah, I'm actually going to get off the horse here. I don't think the horse is the best means of going forward. Um, where did I... Did I miss it? Did I go past it? I can't have done it. I didn't even go that far away. Oh, well, let's climb up here. I probably went the totally wrong way again. Yeah, navigation is not my strong point. <laughs> it never really has been. I get lost in the middle of nowhere. I just get lost anywhere. Doesn't matter if it's in the middle of nowhere. Doesn't matter if I've got a map, GPS, whatever. Yeah, I went the wrong way. I knew I did. We've got a road here. Now I can call my horse. Thank you, horse. All right, let's go. That's better. Much better. Let's see what this... What, what, what is this secret? Up here, by the looks of it. So let's go. I'll be happy when the land is all flat. Like in England. <laughs> it's going to be a lot easier to navigate. So what do we got? Something up there. So let's get down. Get off the horse. No, what? what whoa. No way. I can get on my horse like this. Oh, no, we can jump off it. Oh, that is cool. That means we can gallop and we can, like, jump off horse to horse. Mano o mano. That is going to be something wicked. Imagine galloping next to a bunch of Saxon riders and jumping off the horse and slashing their head off. That would be something worth worth watching. What's this? Something's up here. Now, it's a helmet and two axes, but I don't know what it is. What is it? What does it mean? Does it mean there's something hidden here? I need to find out what that is. What does it mean? 
Lost Durenga. Oh, so it's the one who's dead then. So it's a lost Viking. Where is the lost Viking? Where is he? Here somewhere. But the question is, where? Maybe it's the general area and I've got to find him. That could be what it is. Maybe he's up here. Maybe I'll have a better vision looking down. No, I don't know where he is. What the hell? I mean, no one's on this rock. Go down. I have no idea. Well, maybe he's down below. Is he down below? He can't be down below, surely. Or maybe he's in the snow. Do I need like a shovel or something? The actual path we leave in the snow is really cool. Is this a bug or something? It must be. I can't see no Viking. Yep, I can't see anything. Unless he's hidden, but... I don't think he is. I might have to look this up. Yeah, nothing there. What the hell? I'll climb this. It's going to lead us back up to where I was. So it's not going to change anything. It says a lost Viking or lost Drenger, but there's nothing here, so it must be a bug. I, I can't think of anything else. I think it's an error. It's got to be. I mean, there's obviously going to be some bugs. It is like day one, so there is going to be a fair few mistakes. And anyway, let's go to the second one, which is just over here. And I can actually make a way back. I probably used a fast travel to go back afterwards, to be honest. Oh, oh, give me some iron. Where's the next one? Is it down here? Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to jump down there. And um, yeah, that's a bit too risky. So let's get our horse. Where is our horse? What was that? Oh no, god, that was red. I thought something was attacking us again. Right, boom. Let's mount. Let's go. I still don't know where that lost uh, lost Drenger is. It's like maybe uh, maybe it's supposed to be a wanderer or something. I don't know. Yeah, if you guys don't, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be very interested to know if it's a bug or if it's like I don't know. I, I really don't have a goddamn clue. Hello. Okay, this is a world event. Let's get off our horse. Um, hello? So, what do we have here? Is there anything? Oh, I probably should have used this. Maybe I could have used this here and it would have found... Oh, that is probably what I should have done. I'll be the one to find it. Just you wait and see. First, what? Find what? What the hell? Hello? Oh, he's here. Who's they this dude? Must be around here somewhere. What's this? A maiden's missive. So, hail brave champions. Come find my comb. It is lost and lying low where only the courageous go. Be you bold of breath and blood. Do not wallow in the mud. Find me by the rushing waters and be my fish in shining armor. You want me to find your comb? Is that what you want? I think there are some spots you missed. What are these men hunting for? My comb. Whoever finds it wins an evening of my company. I'll Care to join to them? Okay, so let's try and... Can I... There's no side quest. Okay, there's no small side questing. Okay, that's interesting. It must be around here somewhere. So I've got to basically find the cone. I reckon it's got to be by the, by the waterfall. Let's go and have a look. Jesus Christ, how deep is this? Very freaking deep. Okay. Wow. How bloody deep is it? It's not there. What happens if I find it? That is the question. God, I can't see anything. The 
hell is this? Am I right at the bottom now? Oh, I found it. Was that found? Did I find it? Oh, I found it. Okay, so it was like right down in this crevice. Okay, that was like more than luck, more than skill. <laughs> it was just totally random. I just saw a hole and I thought that must be where it is. Really hell, you can hold his breath for this long. I mean, that circle was going down like really fast. Well, really slow, sorry. It was crazy. So we can last for a long time underwater. Okay, I found it. Do I win an evening in your company? I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner and my comb have been found. Now. Home of champions. The price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature may be more if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. Oh, so do More I get a follow? Different than the kind my flight so fancy attract. Burdened, oh, cool. Okay, let's follow. And delicate. Delicate. And the others, they are like clubs. Blunt and ungainly. You are nimble. Like a knife. Are you so in need of suitors that any passing woodsman or viking will do? I was married once. My old feet died five winters back. Ours was a perfect marriage. I do not need another. But am I to go the rest of my days without? Ah, okay. She needs a little bit, bit of bumpy bumpy. I think not. Bit of gentleman's the sausage. Goal. That's what it's going to be, be is it? Could be a brooch or an arm ring, so long as it's lost and to be found by a helping hand. Oh, you, have you planned and it all? You like put a bed this. there as well Once and a fire? Did the you same plan man this? had stumbled across me three times. Gave me a fright. Turned out to be triplets. But what happens this now? This comb is worth nothing to you. What shall I do with it? You could keep it. Comb your hair. Or I could comb it if you like. Comb my hair. Is that why those men scrambled over each other? I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them. If you'd like. You know what? We went through hell in freezing cold water to get a goddamn comb. I shall see ourselves properly rewarded. My shoulders are tense, but my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. So what happens now? Why is it like rumpty dumpty time? Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Avar. Hold on to the comb, as a keepsake. Thank you, Beale. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself. Is that like code word for um, intimate time? <laughs> do I get anything for that? Anything else? No? Or do I keep the comb? Or is the comb valuable? Is it worth something? It might be worth something. No, it's not worth anything. Well, where's the comb? Well, that was a bit pointless. Oh, I can upgrade my shield. What do I need for that? Ooh, I could potentially upgrade it. But I don't want to. I want to keep the resources. Anyway, now that is done, I think we can go back. I mean, I think that has got to be a bug. I mean, what, what is it again? A lost Viking or lost Drenger? That doesn't make any sense. I don't know what it is. Nothing was there, so uh, yeah, I'll leave that and we shall go back here. Just fast travel to save some time. <laughs> Hold R to lock onto an enemy. Move R left and right to drag onto another target. That I know. The blacksmith in your settlement is the only one capable of enhancing the quality of your equipment. The better equipment you have, the more moon slots and upgrades available. And regard time, try to prove your power or change your equipment and skill tree builds. Okay, that's why you can actually swap it as you want. That's cool. Raven Perception. Call your Raven. A bird's eye view will help you find valuable opportunities in the world. Equipment qualities. Use ingot to enhance the quality. We know all of that shiz. And now it's night time. And it's snowing. And I should probably get rid of the marker here. Now let's track... Oh, I want to track the quest. There we go. So what are these dots here? That is Family Matters. Hmm. Speak to Randry. 
why is the multiple arrow? That I don't know. Is it because she's in multiple places? Oh no, so the other the other people I can speak to. Okay, so it's like a dice game. And then the others are the other characters, like the smith and all sorts of stuff. So okay, right, let's speak to you. Must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. Um, yeah, let's go. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Yeah, I'm having to talk to him. King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. Gunthorn the wise. It is all I can hope for. May the... May the winds favor your voyage, Guthormer. Eivor, come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Uh, do we have no allies? We can't negotiate with boots. Your diplomacy is cowardice. Shall I speak that bluntly to the king? Yeah, hell yeah. All your talk of diplomacy is cowardice, not strategy. If you do not have the will to finish this fight, only say it. I will finish it when I feel that's a true thing a Viking would say. Anymore, and that day is fast approaching. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Okay, let's go and see. So Sigurd is not my brother brother, he's a brother Viking brother, but he's the king's son. And we have skill points. Which means I'll have more codex entries as well. So what do we have? Tribjorn. So King Tribjorn of the Raven Clan, last of the Regufa Regiafilka, Petty Kings, did not rise to power rashly but through careful planning. Now that they virtue that earned the crown is being challenged by friend, foe, and family. Okay. Well, what about our skills? Let's see what I can put in here. Now, I could go for this. Extra melee damage. Ooh. What do you have over here? Way of the Wolf. Gives bonus to all aligned, all wolf aligned gear. Well, I don't have any of the wolf aligned gear yet, but I do want the melee damage. Ooh, we've opened up another branch. Okay. And there's another stealth damage and advanced assassination. Oh, that is cool. I would like that at some point. That would be nice. Um, what does this do though? Light damage. I would take this ability damage. I don't have an ability yet, do I? Let's go for. If I take this, then the next one I can take is probably evasion and then backstab. That means you can dodge, and then we can probably landing a blow directly on the enemy's back will. Inflict increased damage and cause them to stagger. Is that with the bow or is it with the weapons? That is what I want to find out. 
I go here, then I can take this and this. You know, let's take the ability damage. We'll, we'll spread the points around a bit even. The Prodigal Prince with the quest. So, after almost two years abroad, the King's son Sigurd returns with his exotic tales and find friends. Okay, so he must have gone to England, definitely. I want to get rid of the... Why is this still... No. How do I res... No, not reset. Um, remove all markers. There we go. I wondered why I didn't go. Bet you he's been to England. Hey, careful with that one. Hey, bud! See good? <laughs> oh, look at you, blood-soaked drinker. What, have you been worrying without me? Oh, aren't you salt-cured, Vikinger? I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's <laughs> just the start. Randvi, my dear wife. Your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagant, and they showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him. They look like assassins. That is an assassin hood on the left. Oh, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. Yeah, they look like assassins. This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the wolf kissed was captured by Kjotve's men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing shown of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name cured with the crew will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. He's probably going to be the first guy we're going to have to assassinate. I would guess. Cured with the crew. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kjotve and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. They do look mean, don't they, Vikings, really? I've been looking at the beard's faces and war paint, and... I would not like to be an Anglo-Saxon in a monastery when these guys come raping and pillaging. It must have been absolutely horrible. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors. Well, okay, they've gone well far. eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts a new skull, Sigurd. He's definitely skull. planned something. And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Okay, what do you have? Can I take, can I take stuff? Yeah, I don't want to talk to him yet. Although there are others to speak with. Well, let's speak with him then. Let's. Um, can I sit here and speak to him opposite the table? 
Uh, can I do that? Oh, I can't. That's a shame. Oh, what do you want? You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago. To rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hajj of Sophia. That well, sounds right. for that, you I need big balls. I with the details of her meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, Basim. Yeah, let's talk to the dude. There's a load of people to talk to. What about who are you? Oh, this is the other guy. Speak to you. <clears throat> Python, is it? Yes, and you are Eivor. I am. I hope this ruckus does not overwhelm you. We tend to drink and talk at equal speed. Not at all. The wood smoke from your fire pit does sting the eyes. But the warmth is welcome. Of course. It must be rather warm where you live. Where I live changes from week to week. But always I am with my mentor, Basim. A mentor? For what cause? A noble one. A cause as true as the world is old. But let us leave it at that for now. I understand. <laughs> but if you hope to stay tight-lipped for the rest of the night, keep clear of Tekla's mead. <laughs> ah, thank you for the warning. It will not be a problem. Okay, then what else am I looking for? Who are you? I've, oh no, that's, uh, God, it's the, um, the wife of my brother. Have you paid a visit to Volka? I did. And? It is not something I can speak on or wish to. I understand. Your bed will be warm tonight, but your husband returned. That must be a good feeling. It is a different feeling. Warmer, but with less space to stretch my arms and legs. Are you not happy to see your husband returned? Of course. But it has been so long he seems a stranger to me. Three winters we are married, and he has been away for two. Can you not rekindle the flame that once burned hot? <laughs> when he crawls into bed to warm me, as you say, it will be with farts and honeyed breath. Uh, like a good man up. should. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I do that now. I crawl into bed and I fart left, right and centre. <laughs> hey, it's in our genes. It's in our genes, men. We're meant to drink beer and fart. Sigurd has raised the reputation of this clan to new heights, Lord. We could not have asked for a more joyous return. Oh, but we could have. Had Sigurd spent his last two winters here, in Fornburg, defending our lands, we might have been rid of Kjotve by now. You always said we needed more warriors to fight Kjotve. And for warriors, we need wealth, which Sigurd has brought us. The wealth he brings will not buy us an army. It only buys us time before our end. You talk like a man with one foot in Helheim. Have you no plan of your own to rid this land of our enemy? Or will it fall to Sigurd and me? I do, but it will fall to you and Sigurd to accept it. And I must have your word that you will. If you so order it, my king, it will be done. You have my axe until the end. Hmm, you shall see. <laughs> yes, yeah, something's going down. I don't entirely trust my brother or them or the blokes, really. Something's going on, and they look like assassins. I mean, that hood up at the dock there. I mean, I can smell shit from a mile away, and that stinks of shit. It literally does. I right, speak to my brother. Long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You've snared my curiosity, brother. What is it? Not yet. Drinks first. To my first night in Fornburg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you on these honey waves? Yes. You are stuck with me, Dringur. Now drink. <laughs> oh, you would put Thor to shame. <laughs> I should have gone easy on you. You make him. Oh, this is the strong stuff. Oh, yes. Strong stuff. Well, I've got beer at the moment as well. You have been away too long. So, chugging brother. in game, chugging in real life. Kick no better way to go. Mm. It 
does have a new taste. I like it. It is good to have you back, Sigurd. Yes. I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basim, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. Come. <laughs> this brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan. They come from the Abbasid not Caliphate, by blood, Jesus. But by a common idea. They were a long way away. Of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now, I gift one of these secrets to you. Is that a hidden blade? For the finest warrior I know. They don't seem to agree too much. But don't I need to use, like, for, for the hidden blade? Didn't they have to, like, chop off their middle finger or something? Yeah, Hytham looks offended. Hytham is not amused, it seems. Am I not worthy of this gift? It is not about worth, Eivor. It is a matter of devotion to our creed and... Yeah, they are assassins, 100%. Please. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred tool. Do not tool. make a fetish out of cold metal, Haifam. What matters is the mind of the one who wields it. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. Of course, see, see look, they've lost one of the fingers. I knew it. I knew they shot one of their fingers off. I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to a good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not something for all eyes. Lead on. This has got to be where they try to recruit me. Oh, I've got a hidden blade. Now we can finally assassinate people from behind. Something that were lacking earlier on when you like kind of sneak up on guards and you want to kill them but you can't. This clan of yours. And you have to kind of slash them. Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time. You may learn more, but not here, where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Okay, press RB to indicate, uh, to initiate, sorry, an assassination while I'm detected, so... We'll have to go behind him like this, maybe. Oh no, it's on that one. I was thinking, why is it not working? But of course, there's a big blue arrow down above this puppet's head. Why did I not see that? Assassinate. Excellent. Okay. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Oh, so he's like got armor on, so it may be harder. Attempt. Okay, so you gotta like aim for the neck, I suppose. Take that one down from the ledge. Oh, so I've got to do this then. Then, oh, of course, so I can actually, of course, we can assassinate them like this, pull them clap, and then pull them down. There we go. I like that. I've missed this. This sort of assassination. Leap down upon that target from above. Oh, this is what I wanted to do earlier on. I want there's a few people, guards I would like to have killed like this, but we didn't have the blade. Now we can do it. Oh yes, 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 yes. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. Of course, I forgot about this. We could hide in stuff and of course then strike and pull them in. A perfect strike. 
Well, this brings me back to the days of the first Assassin Creed, which was amazing, by the way. Does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more... Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. I still don't trust him. Something's off. Something Eivor, is wrong. Let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. I have to speak to you? Oh yeah, I do have to speak to you. Let's speak. Well, let me speak. Oh, there we go. What do you make of my new friends? They seem generous. Yeah, I don't trust them really. <laughs> I don't trust them at all. I know what you mean. But they have learning too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, he's got a double, like, claymore on his back. I want one of them. It's like a double-handed sword. I want one. Yeah, I'll prefer that than my axe. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Kjotve, and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there, we build a kingdom for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest, and return here at first light. Okay, I like it when you said read Francia, Ireland, and England. So I think Francia and Ireland, I'm sure they're expansions. Um, I'm, I'm sure it was mentioned in the roadmap that they were future expansions, Francia and Ireland. That would be cool. The Nordnir have spoken. You will betray Sigurd. No, this is wrong. That cannot be right. Ah! Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. You will betray Sigurd. Shit. Kjotve's warriors. Okay, so what's going on here? Oh, got two extra skill points. And I will assign them. But for now, I'm going to cut the video here, people. And we shall continue the campaign with the Rude Awakening quest when we return. As per usual, thank you so much for joining me. And if you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you really, really liked it, then please also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. And before I leave you, also don't forget to check out the Discord channel recently created. The link will be in the description below but as per usual thanks for joining me and i'll hopefully catch you all in the next one bye for now